Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the reflection and refraction with the Arnold standard shader. And I have a scene with the uh, with a sky dome that uses physical sky. And if I go back, I have a uh, a diffuse shader assigned to the bear in this case. And I'm going to um, turn off the diffuse completely. And let's. Uh, start the interactive rendering and as you can see now I don't have any anything and uh, the specular is also turned off and the I'm going to start introducing reflection and the difference between the specular and reflection here if if we look at the UI there is no option for the roughness there is no way to control the roughness of the specular and this reflection can only do a clear coat reflection. It can do uh, uh, a reflection like a mirror, for example, where uh, it has no roughness. And this is super fast and very efficient if you need a clear coat reflection. Uh, so for example, if you have an ocean or something like that, this is definitely uh, very useful. And if we uh, look at the reflection result, right now it's not reflecting the sky it's not reflecting the sky dome and the reason for that is because the sky dome uh, environment light is only providing three types of rays and the <clears throat> the ray types are diffuse glossy and shadows and if we go to the out um, uh, and select the render settings, we can see there is uh, diffuse, glossy, reflection, and refraction. And the sky dome light does not uh, only provides diffuse and glossy rays. And that's what uh, that's what's being used. So for example, if I go back to the shop and turn off the reflection and use the specular, this is going to use a, a the uh, glossy rays. Okay? And you can see we're getting the environment reflection working properly. I can definitely set this to zero to give me a clear coat reflection, but it's not as fast as the reflection itself. And so uh, I'm going to turn this off and uh, show you guys how we can add uh, reflection, how we can make the environment light visible for reflection rays. And all we have to do is we have to connect the physical sky shader to the environment slot in the render settings. So I'm going to click the browse button and pick the Arnold physical sky shader. And now if I, I don't have to hit render again, but you can see it's also in the background. So connecting the, uh, the physical sky will provide the camera rays. So it'll make the environment light visible. It will provide the reflection rays and it will provide the refraction rays. And if we switch back to the shader now you can see that our reflection works perfectly and uh, the two spheres as well now the other thing that got added is the refraction rays and um, if we switch to the refraction tab right now i have zero transparency and i'm going to start introducing uh, refraction here and you can see the the higher the value the higher the transparency the more transparent the object becomes and the reason we're just seeing through right now is because the index of refraction is low it's set to one means there is no uh, um, uh, the, uh, refraction happening and i'm going to set this to uh, 133 for the index of refraction for uh, water for example so you can see we're getting the distortion of the refraction and uh, the uh, the abbey number is uh, we can use this to create the um, the ray dispersion and we can set it to a value of 20 and we can see that we're going to have a um, a variation in the index of refraction for the various uh, components red green and blue and this creates uh, uh, the dispersion effect and uh, we can now start adding the uh, some roughness if we want to. So this controls how rough the ref uh, the refraction is, and the higher the value, the uh, the slower the render time and the noisier the noisier it's going to be. So I'm going to set this to something reasonable, and then I'm going to introduce a little bit of reflection back on, and turn on. Uh, for now and set it to 0.05. Cool, so now we have uh, reflection and refraction of the uh, physical sky shader 
And uh, one last thing I want to do is um, I want to keep the reflection and refraction, and I want to turn it off from the camera. I don't want I don't want the the physical sky to be visible. So all we have to do is we have to dive inside this node here, and we can simply turn off background visibility, and that should turn it off from the uh, uh, from the background. And here you can see that it is emitting the uh, these it is allowed to emit these various uh, ray types and so uh, all we have to do to control the visibility of them is dive inside the Arnold physical sky shader and select the out environment out underscore environment and we can decide which one to allow and which one we don't want to be uh, visible and I think that covers pretty much uh, all about reflection and refraction these two spheres here one has 100% uh, reflection and one ha has 100% refraction. This one has um, only uh, specular and this one is pure diffuse. So this one has specular with uh, roughness. And uh, that's pretty much it on the shader level. Uh, the other thing I wanted to explain is the settings that we have here. So if we look at the sampling now, we have the refraction. Uh, sample and this controls the um, uh, this helps to reduce the noise if you have noisy refraction so we need to increase the number of samples for the refraction and for the number of bounces the default is set to two for the reflection and refraction and we can increase this to have more bounces in the reflection to, so it can fill um, it can bounce more to fill in uh, uh, so that we the dark um, values basically find something to to refract and the higher the value the slower the render time and we can do this the same with the reflection but the advantage with reflection is it's pretty fast to do this because it's only a clear coat reflection and uh yeah i think that covers pretty much all about the reflection and refraction thanks for watching and see you in the next video Bye bye